Siberian and Persian cats are practically identical in weight. Siberian cats and Persian cats have the same litter size. Moreover, Siberian cats may live up to six years longer than Persian cats. Plus, one cat is very agile and the other is laid back. And one cat grooming need is high maintenance and the other is low maintenance. But is that adequate information to help you decide which breed is most suitable for you and your family? I don't think so. So let's take a deeper look by comparing the Siberian cat and the Persian cat based on six major factors that you should know before getting one. But, before we get into the furry details, hello and welcome to Animal Digest. If you haven't already, please subscribe to get your weekly dose of pet content. Enough rambling already. Let's begin. Number 1. Let's start with their history, which is frequently associated with their personality. For the Siberian cat. Siberian cats are a national treasure of Russia. To be specific, the breed originated from Siberia, where they flourished naturally without human intervention. For hundreds of years, they have been documented in Russia and are featured in Russian children's books and old fairy tales. Siberian cats have been in existence for over 1,000 years, and they were bred to control mice and rats on farmlands. In June 1990, the very first Siberians arrived in the United States and were subsequently recognized by the Cat Fanciers Association in February 2000. The Siberian cat is currently the national cat of Russia and is also known as the Siberian Forest Cat and the Moscow semi longhair Cat. For the Persian Cat Persian cats are one of the oldest existing cat breeds, and there are many versions of where they came from. However, prior to 1520, the history of the Persian cat is undocumented, and its origin cannot be established. Nonetheless, it is widely assumed that the Persian cat originated in Iran, where the breed was held in high esteem as a prized possession pet. The breed is also idolized in paintings by the art community in Iran, to symbolize the love and high regard of the Persian cat. In the 16th century, the breed was imported from Iran to Turkey, Italy, and France. And by the 18th century, Persian cats were exported to the rest of Europe. The Persian cats made their way to North America in the 19th century and over time, the breed quickly gained popularity and grew to become a common household pet. The much-loved Persian cat can now be found on stamps and artworks from all over the world and is ranked fourth in popularity by the Cat Fanciers Association for the year 2021. Number 2. Let's look at their appearance. For the Siberian cat. The Siberian is a medium to large-sized cat with an overall appearance of great strength, power, and alertness, which is complemented by a charming facial expression. Their eyes are round and expressive, and their eye color ranges from green to gold and all shades in between. Plus, white cats or cats with some white may have blue eyes. And some Siberians even have two different color eyes. Siberians are a natural breed that comes with a dense, long, water-repellent triple coat that reflects the climate in Russia. They have large paws, powerful hindquarters, and large furry ears. Their tails are medium length and are generally shorter than the length of their bodies and have a blunt tip. For the Persian cat. The perfect Persian cat should resemble a large boned, well-balanced cat with a pleasant expression. The breed comes with big bright eyes that are set wide apart and their eyes can be blue, green, or copper. They have a round and massive head that is set on a thick and short neck and a short, stubby nose to add to the overall facial expression. The breed has a long, dense coat that stands off the body. Plus, they have short, thick, strong-looking legs and short tails that are proportionate to their body length. Number 3. Let's look at their personality. For the Siberian cat. Siberian cats are affectionate and like to hang out with their owners and follow them around. They also like being with kids of all ages, dogs, and other pets and are not shy around visitors. 
Plus, they are brave, yet easygoing, and because of their calm and even-tempered nature, this breed rarely gets upset. Furthermore, Siberian cats seem to know when someone needs emotional and psychological support, and have a tendency to spend more time with that person. They are a calm breed that makes sweet chirps, meows, and lots of purring sounds to communicate. Moreover, a Siberian cat is known to often use an infamous triple purr sound when they come to greet you instead of chirps. For the Persian cat. The Persians are somewhat the opposite of Siberian cats when it comes to their personality. Unlike Siberians, Persian cats are laid back and reserved and won't be inclined to follow you around the house. However, Persian cats love their human families, just like Siberians do. But they tend to show their love by greeting you when you come home or sitting with you after a long day at work. Furthermore, Persian cats are adaptive, but they like routines, like eating at the same time every day and sleeping in the same place. You may also find that your Persian cat doesn't like it when you move his furniture and other things. Plus, Persian cats are usually not as chatty as Siberian cats. Persians are generally quiet cats who use their eyes to talk most of the time. For example, when a Persian cat wants something, instead of chirping and meowing, he'll look at you in a certain way. A look that you'll get used to over time. Number 4. Activity Level. For the Siberian Cat. These cats are playful and are interested in all kinds of toys. Some of them learn to play fetch, while some are fascinated by the activity on the computer screen, and others will just sit and watch in amazement as you type. Moreover, the Siberian, who is naturally acrobatic and agile, loves to leap great distances and plays hard. You will find that your Siberian cat will frequently perform stunning somersaults in the chase of a feather toy. Plus, these cats love height, so one of the Siberian's happiest moments is when he is perched at the top of a tree, observing his surroundings. Do you want a cat that loves water? If so, then a Siberian is the cat for you. They are fond of water and like to drop their toys in the water and watch it sink, so it's not unusual to see a Siberian cat splashing around in puddles, ponds, or bathtubs. For the Persian cat. Also, for activity level, Persian cats are somewhat the opposite of Siberian cats. The Persians do like to play, but not with the agility and intensity of the Siberians. Plus, Persian cats usually need a little bit of encouragement to get them to participate in almost any activity. But not to worry, because interactive toys and treats may help your Persian cat become the fun pet you've always wanted. Don't forget though, that your Persian will appreciate your time and patience as you let him get used to being playful. When he does, fetch will be one of his favorite games to play. Still, if you want a cat that is naturally active and playful, the Persian breed might not be the best choice for you. Number 5. Suitability. For the Siberian cat. These cats love attention and are often right in front of you, waiting for you to scratch their ears or rub their bellies. Plus, Siberians like to talk to people, and they think of themselves as lap cats, and they are happiest when they're curled up on their owner's laps and getting their chin scratched. So, needless to say, a suitable owner would be someone who has time to devote to their pet and can keep up with an active cat when needed. For the Persian cat. As mentioned earlier, Persians are laid back and are not typically lap cats. Therefore, a suitable owner would be an individual who likes to have a pet around, but also likes to have the freedom to breathe and not have to constantly entertain a cat. However, some owners report that Persian cats can become territorial, so if you're considering having multiple pets in the home, then it is best to introduce all pets at an early age. Number 6. Grooming Needs for the Siberian cat. These cats come with relatively tangle-free coats, which makes their grooming needs low maintenance. However, to keep their coats looking healthy, it is recommended that their triple coats get brushed at least twice per week to avoid knots and tangles. Furthermore, Siberian cats tend to shed more, just before and just after the summer months, so more grooming will be required during those times. Plus, a bath every four to six weeks is recommended for indoor cats. 
However, as mentioned earlier, Siberian cats have a likeness for water, so that's all good. But their water-resistant coat may pose a bit of a challenge when it comes to getting it shampooed. For the Persian cat. These cats come with a silky, thick, and fluffy double coat. Unlike the Siberians, there's no way around the fact that Persian cats' grooming needs is high maintenance. Their coat needs to be brushed every day to keep it from getting tangled and matted. The best way to do this is with a stainless steel comb. If mats and tangles happen, this can be painful for the cat. Therefore, as with most long-haired cats, it's important that you devote the time needed to keep their coat and skin healthy. Also, to help maintain their coats, give your Persian a bath at least every other week or so. And right after bathing, use a hairdryer on a low-speed setting while brushing the coat, this will help to make it easier to comb through the fur and get rid of any loose hair. Some Persian cats appreciate being groomed and will let you comb them all day, while others hate the process and will try anything to escape. But you have the option to shave their coat or keep it very short. And two last important things to keep in mind are 1. Persian cats do shed and 2. Persian cats do develop excessive tear stains. This means you will need to vacuum frequently and wipe around the eyes on a regular basis. Bottom line, both Siberian and Persian cats love their human family, and each shows their love in a different way. And Persian cats are more independent, while Siberian cats have dog-like traits and are lab cats. So based on your lifestyle either breed makes a great companion pet. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.